A hanging garage storage system is an easy way to add extra shelves and storage in your garage space. Plus, it's out of the way and simple to install. Hi, Kevin here with woodworkfamily.com. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how simple it is to install this hanging storage from the garage ceiling. Thanks for watching. Some of the tools that are required for this job is an electric drill, a stud finder, socket wrench, crescent wrench, and rubber mallet, to name a few. I will have a complete list in the description. Here you see my brother-in-law and I installing the four ceiling brackets. We already put one up before I started recording. Um, now we are measuring to make sure that they are perpendicular to each other and in the proper location for where we want the actual storage system to be. Um, it's best to have a second set of hands if possible because it's hard to hold the tape measure that far without it collapsing. We are measuring four feet by eight feet roughly. Take a look at the instructions to get the exact measurement and placement. After securely installing the four ceiling brackets, we are now hooking up the vertical corner pieces that are forming the corners of the garage ceiling storage system. I accidentally installed these brackets upside down. The vertical brackets need the small end of the hole facing downward so the next piece can lock into them. This hanging garage storage system kit includes eight brackets that are used for the vertical portion which hangs down and to connect them to the ceiling brackets you would use one hex bolt, one nut, and two washers. Adding a second vertical bracket will allow you to extend it down even further from the ceiling, giving you more storage space. To do this, I used two sets of hex bolts, nuts, and washers, and I put one on each side, each corner of the angle bracket. Next, I installed the horizontal bars for the garage storage system. These form the footprint of the actual storage platform that you are creating. The edges of these have little tabs that hook into the pear-shaped holes that you saw in a previous shot. I just worked my way around. I was able to use the garage door opener to hold the long pieces on, but if you can't do that, I recommend getting a second set of hands, somebody else to help you with, and another ladder for them to stand on. Um, the pieces lock in place, and then I'm able to move the ladder and go over to the next one with it dangling for just a moment. That did not hurt anything and it all worked out perfect. This is a good time to test the garage door because I want to make sure everything runs correctly and I'm not going to have anything hitting. So I'd, I'd like to do this before too long, that way if I have to take it apart it's not going to be a big issue and I'll be able to do that easily. Next I used a rubber mallet to make sure that all of the horizontal pieces were locked into the vertical uh, brackets and this made sure that everything was stable and not going to wiggle loose. Next I installed the cross piece that attaches to the two long edges of the base footprint of the storage system. Each end of this cross piece has holes drilled in it for two hex bolts and a nut for each one. Um, I used a socket wrench and a crescent wrench to tighten these on. Next I installed the wire lattice on the surface of the garage storage system. This is what's going to be holding the items that are stored up there. They simply just rest right on top. There's grooves that it fits in and you do not require any hardware to install them. Um, as you see, they go in pretty quickly and easily. Uh, another option is to use a sheet of 3 8 inch plywood, um, which will allow you to store smaller items. This storage rack is just gonna be holding bins. I decided to give the garage door one last test just to be sure everything was working properly. This is not absolutely necessary. And now you can see just how quick and easy it is to install a hanging garage storage in your house. So save, save yourself some time and money and do it yourself. If you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button for future videos from me. And I've got a link in the description below of 
the hanging storage system that I used. So click that link to check it out. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.